Residential Treatment Facilities, a quick guide. Have you been struggling with a drug or alcohol addiction for a long time and are looking for help? Have you attempted several drug treatment programs in the past but been unable to maintain your sobriety? If you responded yes to any or both questions, you could feel helpless to halt your negative thoughts and that your alternatives for receiving assistance are limited. Thankfully, a residential drug treatment facility can provide you with the programs, structure and support you need to conquer your addiction. The highest level of care and treatment programs is provided by residential drug treatment institutions for all clients, assisting them in recovering from the harmful consequences of substance usage. Here are some brief guides to help you fully comprehend this program and choose what steps you should do. What is residential treatment? Residential treatment clinics, sometimes known as rehabs, address a variety of difficulties, including mental illnesses, behavioral concerns, and drug misuse and addiction issues. Residential treatment centers are live-in, clinically-oriented institutions where patients are constantly monitored and supervised by qualified professionals. Types of residences Individual therapy, group therapy, and support groups are examples of ambulatory services or treatment methods. These services may be provided by a community mental health hospital or a private practice. Outpatient Outpatient mental health services are the lowest level of care because they do not require an overnight stay or intensive planning. Outpatient services are scheduled at the patient's discretion, which means they request as needed appointments. Intensive Outpatient Programs, IOP IOPs are similar to partial hospitalization programs in that the patient goes less often and for a shorter period typically three times per week for a few hours. IOPs are largely focused on mental health and slash or drug misuse disorders, and they may be helpful for someone who needs more assistance than is provided in outpatient settings. Partial Hospitalization Programs, PHPs Partial Hospitalization Programs, PHPs also known as day programs, PHPs are outpatient programs in which patients participate in programming for at least six hours per day. This level of care is frequently provided as part of a step-down approach to aftercare for patients who have completed a residential treatment program or have been admitted to a hospital. Hospitalization Hospitalization is also known as inpatient acute care. Hospitalization is for those who need 24-hour care and access to a medical practitioner. Those who require psychiatric stabilization and slash or are at risk of harming themselves or others are frequently admitted to hospitals. Hospitalization is utilized in crisis circumstances to help the patient get back on their feet which usually occurs within a few days. How long should you stay in residential addiction treatment? When it comes to addiction treatment, many individuals are concerned about how long it will take. The solution is more intricate than you would think. How long you remain in residential treatment for addiction is often determined by whom you ask. However, it should rely on your specific therapy demands, since this technique will begin the greatest potential outcomes for your long-term rehabilitation. Rehab programs that last 90 days or more are advantageous for a variety of reasons. Addicts need time to properly cleanse their bodies of the addictive substance. Detoxification, detox is the initial stage in the rehabilitation process, and depending on the drug or substances used, medicines may be available to alleviate withdrawal symptoms, making the procedure as safe and painless as possible. The detox procedure is merely the first stage, and although it helps the person to safely eliminate alcohol or drugs from their bodies, it does not address the underlying conditions that lead to addiction. While the technique used to detox may differ from institution to facility, the fact that time may be required to complete it effectively, particularly when treating addiction to drugs that may cause life-threatening withdrawal symptoms, such as alcohol or benzodiazepines, does not alter. Longer treatment programs provide patients the time they need to quit taking substances and learn more about the recovery process. Throughout the detox process, a patient must be monitored to ensure that he or she is physically and mentally well and is not in any danger. Furthermore, the physiological desires for drugs and alcohol are not removed by rehabilitation clinics. They also do not eliminate environmental elements that make the temptation even more difficult. 
relapse for drug addiction occurs in 40 to 60 percent of all instances of addiction. Addiction is an illness that lasts a lifetime. The longer you stay in addiction recovery, the more equipped you will be to combat addiction for the rest of your life. Aftercare ensures that addicts are in a medical and social support system that reminds them that they were reminded of the coping techniques they used to fight their overwhelming need for dangerous substances. The length of aftercare is dictated by the individual and the severity of the addiction. Some people may only need it for a year. Some people may need it for the rest of their lives. It might manifest itself in social support organizations such as Alcoholics Anonymous or in housing developments where inhabitants pay rent and contribute to the community. Support may also be provided from a distance, such as through the internet or phone systems. Even though the fact that treatment style and duration vary, one of the most critical aspects of treatment effectiveness is the amount of time spent in therapy. What are the benefits of residential treatment? These facilities, on the other hand, differ from one another in terms of how they provide their services. Regardless of the changes, several underlying characteristics contribute are several underlying characteristics that contribute to why residential is highly successful in general. 24-hour support. Continuous monitoring and ready assistance 24 hours a day, 7 days a week in all residential treatment programs are a big benefit over other levels of care. While it may seem like an invasion of privacy at times, this continual assistance and monitoring help in tracking patient progress, identifying areas of difficulty, and preventing relapse. Distance The distance between the patient's present and previous lives. Distance from one's present circumstances, such as from toxic people, triggering areas, and so on, being in the company of healthy individuals may help with discernment and perspective. Different forms of therapy. Instead of only talk therapy, as many outpatient clinics do, they employ a range of therapeutic techniques. Most residential treatment centers emphasize a holistic approach to treating your mind, body, and soul. Such as, writing therapy, art therapy, and a range of experiential therapies are all prominent forms of trauma treatment. Frequent sessions. Patients in residential treatment programs have access to a wider range of therapy modalities, as well as more regular sessions. Being able to visit a therapist daily might help patients get back on track and establish a trustworthy therapeutic connection. The therapeutic connection is nourished not only by the frequency of sessions at a residential treatment center, therapists may visit their patients in a variety of settings. Therapists and counselors often lead therapy groups accompany patients on trips or meals, and engage in experiential activities with them in residential treatment. Clinical doctors monitored each patient to learn more about what they were going through. Moreover, residents in residential treatment facilities usually follow a somewhat rigorous daily schedule. Patients will get up and go to bed at the same time, engage in home tasks and responsibilities, have mental health and medical appointments planned, and time set aside for leisure and slash or exercise. Why should you seek therapy at a residential facility? Professionals can help you achieve the change you want. Recovery is not an overnight process, and attempting it on your own is incredibly tough. Having them in the area ensures individuals get several of the advantages for a quick recovery. The following are some advantages of a residential treatment program. Residential treatment centers provide a safe and secure environment. One of the most important reasons you should seek treatment in an intensive residential treatment program for your addiction is that you will get therapy at the facility itself. A residential treatment facility's setting is safe and secure, and it removes you from the triggers and temptations present in your home environment and the outside world in general. Many residential treatment facilities are cutting edge with high-quality treatment programs and services that are evidence-based and personally customized to your specific requirements. You will live in a nice apartment or dormitory-style environment with all of the advantages and conveniences of home while at a residential treatment program. Most importantly, professional personnel will offer round-the-clock monitoring to ensure that all of your wants and concerns are fulfilled and that you are safe at all times. Detoxification through medical means Medical detoxification is the first and most critical stage in the healing process. 
When you stop using drugs or alcohol, you may experience a range of physical and psychological withdrawal symptoms, some of which can be quite unpleasant or painful. The withdrawal symptoms you experience may be life-threatening depending on the intensity of your addiction, the presence of other substances in your system, and any underlying medical issues you may have. Medical detoxification enables you to progressively wean yourself off of drugs safely and effectively. Residential treatment institutions provide safe medical detox treatments on-site in clean, pleasant, and secure facilities. Experienced detox specialists will tailor a detox program to your specific needs, drawing on services such as pharmaceutical treatment, nutritional therapy, physical activity programs, and other interventions. Furthermore, staff will carefully assess you for any CO-occurring mental problems that may be impeding your recovery. If a CO-occurring condition is diagnosed, treatment professionals may include appropriate mental health therapies into your recovery plan. Treatment Programming in its Complete Form Once you have achieved physical and psychological stability, you may begin an intense drug treatment program that is highly organized and personalized to match your unique requirements. This comprehensive treatment plan is comprised of a broad range of treatment services, including individual and group therapy, life and coping skills training, holistic healing and therapeutic approaches, and so on. During this stage, you will be given the skills, as well as the encouragement and support, that you need to conquer your drug addiction. While many residential treatment programs have programs that run 28 to 30 days, several institutions have programs that extend 90 days or beyond. Longer stays at a residential treatment facility result in improved results. Aftercare While finishing a treatment program at a residential drug treatment clinic is a significant achievement, your recovery does not stop there. When you return home and continue your normal routine, the hard work of your rehabilitation starts. The initial few months of your recovery are critical, and aftercare programs given by a residential treatment facility will provide you with the extra support and incentive you need to confidently return to your regular everyday life. With comprehensive outpatient therapy and sober living alternatives, you may refine and practice your relapse prevention skills, which are required to cope with cravings and desires to use constructively without relapsing into drug use. Healthcare is available around the clock. The severity of withdrawal symptoms varies according to how much a client has used addiction, nonetheless, the majority of individuals experience some difficulty when they stop using certain medicines if not stopped soon, might cause serious health concerns. Those who have completed the detoxification therapy at home, on the other hand, have access to medical specialists 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. To address withdrawal symptoms, nurses, physicians, technicians, and other healthcare professionals must be present. They may also alleviate any pain or provide security. According to National Institute on Drug Abuse, medical detox allows medical practitioners to treat clients with immediate physiological adverse effects before addressing psychological side effects. Support The major portion of addiction treatment alternatives are centered on giving clients a large level of assistance, however, residential treatment is the only kind of therapy that provides the necessary support continually. Patients will be able to speak with knowledgeable healthcare professionals as well as others who have had similar experiences. Many detox center facilities allow visitors to come and go as they like throughout treatment. This enables family members and friends to assist their loved ones while they are undergoing treatment. Residential therapy may be too costly for certain people. However, with appropriate financing choices, families may still get the treatment they need. Because they will no longer be spending money on drugs, the patient will finally be able to afford alcohol rehab therapy. When you are sober, there are social repercussions as well. Characteristics of a good residential treatment center Before committing to a certain program, social workers and clients seeking quality indicators are encouraged to ask several questions. There are no standards or national ratings for residential programs, and assessing programs is complicated by the fact that different institutions compete for the same group of patients. High-quality residential treatment facilities will, in general, 
have the following characteristics. Accreditation status. High quality residential institutions are often subjected to monitoring and supervision by state licensing bodies or other agencies that provide certification for healthcare companies. Such licensing and accrediting bodies typically impose stringent criteria for evidence based treatment, record keeping, medication storage and management, and other critical components of residential care. Personnel with complete credentials. Practitioners working in residential facilities must be sensitive not only to the dynamics of each patient, but also to group dynamics, conflict dynamics between staff and patients, and, perhaps most importantly, the often subtle indications that a patient is decompensating and in need of more intensive monitoring or even acute hospitalization. Prior experience working in an inpatient institution may be very beneficial for residential care staff members. Capability to rapidly boost workforce. Residential institutions with a variable personnel capacity can adapt to the treatment milieu's shifting degrees of intensity. Effective treatment facilities may staff up to meet the needs of sicker or more agitated patients who may need more tight monitoring such as wellness checks every 30 minutes, every 15 minutes, or even continuous one-on-one -on -one surveillance. This capability not only protects the particular patient but also ensures that the emotional environment of the treatment milieu may be modified as needed by the presence of extra staff members. Access to urgent and emergency care services is readily available. Accidents happen, as do deliberate acts of self-harm. Residential institutions that collaborate with local hospitals and urgent care centers are well positioned to move patients in crisis to a higher level of care with little interruption to the environment. There are outpatient therapists as well as a residential treatment team accessible. The outpatient therapist of the patient recommended for residential treatment plays an important role in ensuring a favorable result. The therapist is likely to be the most credible source of information on the patient's pre-admission functioning and symptoms, and he or she is likely to have a prioritized list of the most urgent symptoms that need assessment and treatment. For this reason, therapists are often notified within 24 hours after admission to a residential treatment center. Many outpatient therapists want to keep up to date on their patient's progress, some will want to communicate with the patient by phone or in-person visits and a few may want to continue providing direct psychotherapy during the residential stay. Individual treatment institutions may not always allow the last of these responsibilities.